In 2019, China's Chang'e 4 lander became the first spacecraft to touch down on the moon's far side. And for years, what it saw remained a mystery outside of official reports. Now, newly released data reveals strange, angular structures jutting from the lunar surface. Some experts say it's just unusual geology. Others, they're not so sure. Here's the story of the mission that risked it all to find out. For decades, the moon's near side was the focus of every mission, while the far side stayed hidden in radio silence. No spacecraft had ever landed there. The terrain was rough, the lighting unpredictable, and the biggest problem of all was that you couldn't talk to it directly from Earth. China decided to try anyway, and that's how the Chang'e 4 mission was born. The goal was to land on the far side, collect data, and explore one of the least understood regions of our closest neighbor. It wasn't just another lunar mission. It was a major technical and scientific challenge. The far side is always turned away from us, which means any signal sent from a lander can't reach mission control. This single problem had stopped every space program before from even attempting a landing there. You can send probes to orbit, you can map from above, but a rover on the surface? Without direct communication, it would be blind to commands and unable to send back data. That's why the Chang'e 4 team had to invent a workaround before the mission could even be considered possible. The solution was Kuekiao, a specially designed relay satellite. Instead of orbiting the moon the way traditional satellites do, Kuekiao sits in a halo orbit around the Earth moon, L2 point, about 65,000 kilometers beyond the moon. From that position, it can see both the far side of the moon and Earth at the same time. This unique vantage point means it can pass messages between the surface and the engineers back on the ground. Without this satellite parked in just the right spot, Chang'e 4 wouldn't have gotten a single bite of information home. The landing site itself was no ordinary patch of lunar ground. The mission targeted the South Pole Aitken Basin, one of the largest and deepest impact craters in the solar system. Scientists have been interested in this basin for years because its massive size means it may have exposed material from the moon's mantle, rocks that would have otherwise stayed buried deep inside. Studying them could reveal how the moon formed and evolved over billions of years. But it's also a tricky place to move around, with uneven slopes and boulder-strewn ground. On the surface, the U-22 rover rolled off the lander to begin its mission. Small, solar-powered, and lighter than you might expect, it carried a panoramic camera, a ground-penetrating radar unit, and infrared spectrometers. Its job was to crawl across the alien terrain, taking high-resolution images and probing the subsurface structure without drilling. As it traveled, it encountered everything from smooth regolith to jagged formations, unlike any documented on the near side. In the early years, only limited images and carefully worded updates were released to the public. Some of this came down to the pace of analysis. Data had to be checked, processed, and interpreted. But the lack of transparency also raised eyebrows. Amateur astronomers and space enthusiasts speculated about what was being kept under wraps. Among scientists, the hints of unusual shapes in blurry, compressed official images only added to the intrigue. Behind the scenes, U22's instruments were returning pictures of formations that appeared too orderly to be random piles of debris. Straight lines, corners, and clustered arrangements showed up in its photo sets. These files remained classified for years, available only to select research teams in China. That changed when a new batch of detailed imagery and sensor data, collected between 2019 and 2023, was finally cleared for release. What these new images revealed turned out to be sharper, stranger, and far more structured than expected, setting the stage for a whole new set of questions. The formations on the far side aren't what most people picture when they think of lunar rocks. In the newly released shots, they aren't just random lumps scattered around. Some stand in straight rows, others have edges that cut at clean angles, and a few look like they could fit together like pieces from a huge, ancient puzzle. From above, in the crisp, high-definition captures, 
their shadows stretch in ways that make them look almost planned. It's the kind of detail you can only see when the resolution is sharp enough to pick out fine cracks and stone layering. These images came from U22's panoramic camera and were backed up by sensor readings gathered across more than four years of roaming. The raw photos went through careful calibration, which is why it took so long for them to be ready for release. In frame after frame, the same theme pops up. Patterns that feel too orderly to just happen by chance. Breaks in rock that look like straight cuts, outcrops that form nearly perpendicular intersections, and clusters of block-like formations. That's why some people, including a few in the scientific community, are stepping forward with differing theories. One camp points to fractured impact ejecta. In this view, a massive collision eons ago sent rock flying, which then fractured and split along stress lines as it cooled. On Earth, lava flows and crystalline formations can sometimes produce similar shapes, especially when slow cooling happens underground. Another group isn't ready to settle on that explanation. They argue the geometry we're seeing, those specific right angles, rarely forms naturally at this scale without a very specific geological process. And even if that's the case, the patterns here don't completely match known examples. What makes it stranger is the supportive data from U22's infrared spectrometer and ground penetrating radar. The rover pinged the ground below several of these formations and the results came back showing something unexpected. Beneath the surface, the layers didn't match up with the rest of the surrounding area. Instead of smooth, even bands of regolith and rock, the sublayers looked broken and irregular, almost like they had been disturbed or assembled differently from the nearby terrain. Of course, we have to remember the moon isn't easy to read. With no atmosphere, the sunlight is sharp and unfiltered, which can make shadows deep and harsh. Photos taken just a few hours apart can make the exact same rock look completely different. This has happened before, most famously with the so-called face on Mars. In that case, low resolution images taken in the 1970s appeared to show a giant carved head. But when higher quality pictures came in decades later, it turned out to be nothing but a weathered hill. And yet, the far side discoveries aren't a perfect parallel. Some of U22's formations are showing consistent shapes in multiple lighting conditions and certain angles have been measured at close to 90 degrees more than once. Right angles do exist in nature, but they're far more common in human-made structures than in random rock piles. Officially, the public stance is leaning toward a geological explanation. It's careful, measured, and grounded in what we know about the moon's impact history. But even some of the mission's own scientists are saying they can't fully explain every measurement yet. That gap in certainty is leaving room for speculation, and it might end up influencing where the next missions are sent, and who teams up to explore them. With this much unknown, the far side may be about to go from a blank spot on our maps to one of the most contested destinations in space. We might be closer than ever to finding out the moon isn't as simple as we thought. These new structures suggest there's still a lot about our nearest neighbor that we can't explain yet. Over the next few years, China, NASA, and even private companies plan to explore the far side in more detail than ever before, using better cameras, radar, and sample return missions. Staying updated means you'll see each new clue as it's revealed. And if the moon can still surprise us after all this time, imagine what might be waiting just out of sight across the solar system.